welcome to this podcast on transcending the mind uh, this is a book i wrote and uh, i combined the knowledge of uddhav gita on yoga and also this entire body of literatures vedic veda actually to call them as literature is also wrong literature is somebody who knows how to write and as everything in english english is a shallow language not everything can be as explained properly in english language but i'm doing in english language to educate all of you what you call as yoga in the west is not yoga you are doing asana yoga is very very vast very vast and the side benefits of medical benefits of yoga or asana are tremendous but it is yoga is not done for getting material benefits these are side benefits which automatically come so in this book when i wrote this book i got transformed myself it was my journey and like in every book i write i write it for the benefit of everyone my books are based on mahabharat ramayan veda bhagavad gita is for the benefit of entire humanity and it's not my original work i am just translating it and making it relevant for the people who read these books with that being said transcending the mind is the book i wrote based on patanjali's original work and my contribution to that is like everything i do in other books also i triangulate with mahabharat ramayan gps coordinates modern science and then i because and then i publish those books with the original meaning of the word in english language like if i say what will be the meaning of yog in english will be the art and science of connecting a soul with the original creator whom you call as god that's yog asana is the science and art of making your bodies healthy mind peaceful and your senses controlled so that you can do yoga so asana is a preparation for yoga now with that being said let me read the i'll read the five shloka every time shloka means which is can be sung is a sanskrit poetry and also carries deep meanings every line of patanjali which he patanjali wrote this almost 4 5000 years ago anything beyond any western abrahamic religion of faith the destruction of the world caused by the european colonization is actually creating a stressful anxiety full and and a mental imbalance in our western societies so with that being said let me read patanjali is my translation my comments begins instructions on yoga by explaining the essential concepts of yoga he answers questions such as what is yoga how does vritti define our nature how does a pure atma or soul gets entangled in material nature what are klesh how do they affect our mind how does intelligence binds us who is ishwar and many more questions that a yogi might be inquisitive about a yogi will truly get inspired to take one's yoga practice not yoga yoga practice to its logical conclusion through sequential instructions of patanjali happy reading om tat sat 
Om Tatsat means Om, Aum, that is truth. Now, Atha Yoga Nushasanam. Now begins the instructions on Yoga. Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha. Yoga is the Nirodha or halting of the Vritti, which is the five Vrittis are there which are collectively called nature of chitta. Chitta means mind. Remember these words. And if you want to get detailed training, then at my home and through online classes, I do teach about yoga to everybody. Tada drashtu sarupena avasthanam When one sees and controls their vritti, they become situated in self, which is Swarup. Swarup means original nature. So again I repeat, when one sees and controls Devritti, then they become situated in Swarup or self. Okay. So if you want to become real you, then you have to start actually seeing your Vritti and control your Vritti. How to do it? There is a process. You can join our programs. Vritti Sarupyam Itaratra. When we do not control Vritti, then we act with an uncontrolled mind. The mind, so entire thing about mindset programming, mindfulness, mindset, everybody, masterminds, everyone is selling you something really fake that's not what they talk they don't even know about the mind the western society doesn't know about the mind and therefore what they think feelings emotions are coming are actually not accurate in accurate in a sense they feel is what they feel but they are not in the best interest of the society and that's why you'll see that mental problems are rising and we have a right solution if we follow the yoga properly. So before you do your asana, asana is related to the body, yoga is related to the soul. Yeah. I have to <laughs> mute the phone. Vrittaya Panchatya Klishta, Aklishta. Vritti is of five types and can be klishta, means afflicted by impurities and sometimes aklishta, not afflicted by impurities. So if you do not know vritti, so in my, in my, because when I train the trainers, many batches have been trained on yoga. So we want to give a permanent solution and the solution can be made if you understand the vritti. And so I have exercises for how to find out your vrittis are filled with impurities or not. Based on the previous karma, many people who come on the path of real yoga, they have a lot of good karma in the past lives and generally they do not have that many impurities because that's how they came here. But people who are new also have an equal chance in building a spiritual life with yoga. Being a Sanskritist, I learned Sanskrit basics when I was small from my mother and my grandmother who were professors of Sanskrit. But I perfected it by reading. Sanskrit is a very easy language. And so I don't never would call myself a perfect person, but we are a sadhaka. We are practitioners. So thank you for joining me and watch me. So I told you the five first five instructions in yoga. Meditate on it, and if you have questions, get my book and join our training programs. The list is the, the 
program list is below. It's only for sincere practitioners. Thank you.